Hello guys, uh, this is part 21 of ASP.NET MVC series. I am Yasir and today we are going to do something interesting like we want to create default user logins. What we want to achieve, we want to uh, whenever we want, we, we create a student object in our database, we want to create the account for that student as well so that's it uh, we want to achieve so let's uh, flip to visual studio and uh, try to understand what we want to do like whenever student is created we know when the student uh, is created student is created uh, in the post action method of uh, uh, student controller in the create action method okay guys here we want to achieve that whenever the student is being create, created we want students registration number as the username as we have username here and username must be uh, at least of five character long and the registration number must be five character long to store it as username and then we are going to uh, save a dummy password then when the student logins to his or her portal we can provide him or her functionality to update his or her password so let's uh, go back to student controller and we code something here like so guys first of all we will code for our primary table because uh, uh, student table has got foreign key so that's why the primary key table here is user so first we create the user with the registration number and then we uh, add that student to the database with the foreign key that will be generated here let's uh, do it and uh, understand uh, how can we do that so let's uh, make a uh, user object here user u is equal to new user and uh, we want to do user dot username is equal to uh, this posted student dot registration number okay guys and then we want to save its password as user dot password is equal to let's say we want to make one two three four five as the default password for every a student account and then we can provide functionality or uh, facility to the students to update their passwords on their console so these three lines of code have successfully prepared the user object and now what we want to do we want to add this object to the database so guys for that we need to run this command db dot users dot add and user object and then we call the db dot save changes method and again when we have successfully saved the changes to the database this user uh, object will be having user id as well so we will break point here and i will prove how it is possible so when the uh, we have the user id for the student we can uh, reference the foreign key here by yourself like in the student table we have referenced here some user id that is nullable let's uh, populate this user id uh, directly from here we say that student dot uh, user id is equal to u dot id okay guys let's uh, quickly run it and te uh, test it whether it's working as expected or not so run it by pressing f5 or uh, the play button over here and then let's uh, test whether it's uh, working like we want to work it So it may take a while because we are running it in a de debug mode. 
so when the form values will be posted to this uh, action method the student object will be filled with those values and we are fetching the registration number from that uh, student object and passing that value to the username of user object so as it's uh, taking a while to run please be patient and uh, So let's move to student controller create action method and we try to create a new student and when we post these values to the post action method of uh, uh, student controller we will be looking uh, everything line by line what's happening there like I uh, name it here like so here and you mobile like as 03 and registration might be sp14 let's create it and this will post these values to the uh, create action method of student controller now if you mouse over here you will see that gpa is null because we are not getting gpa from this uh, interface that's why GPA is null so GPA is uh, zero mobile number is as we have given name is Zuhair and Jam registration number is uh, this one and user ID and all those things are null now we want to say uh, create a user in database uh, that will be having this uh, registration number as username and uh, its default password will be one two three four five so for that we create we first create the user object because we want to add foreign key to this student uh, object here you can see the user id is null so that's why we are firstly creating the user object so that when the id user id is not null we pass the uh, we pass here the user ID when the uh, user is successfully saved so that uh, we can reference it as well so let me press so let's run it from step by step if I place breakpoint here here and here for some reason if I press F10 my video will be stopped that's why I am doing this so please don't mind I again put in continue continue and continue and again I put continue again I put here breakpoint remove these breakpoints now so let's see over control is over here so if I do not execute this line and I see the user object it has got password as one two three four five and registration number as the username we have set here uh, but it does not have user id it's zero uh, you will see when i run this command the user object will have the id as well so that id we will pass to the student's user id property let's uh, let me again uh, press continue now this line of code is executed and this is also as now if i mouse over our user now you can see the user id is now populated because this uh, object has been successfully saved in the database now the student object will also have the user id because we have passed the user dot id to the student dot user id so that's uh, sim that is that much simple to create default logins for the uh, students uh, if you are uh, adding new students so now when you run it and you save the student object as well then you are going to the uh, index view of uh, student controller so let's uh, go to the index view it's okay for us so let me continue it and if we go back it is going to throw some error that is uh, something is being posted as null so what's what is that error about 
let's quickly find out what can be the error let me refresh it cancel it what can be the error code first student slash index and line 28 let's go to the line 28 student in model uh, index section method oh it's over fault guys because we are returning the view index and the index view of student controller must have uh, been uh, called from some action method because it accepts a uh, list of students but when we directly call the view from here index it will not uh, be having the uh, student list object so if you want to redirect to uh, the index action method you can use return redirect to action and now you can explicitly tell it you should go to the this uh, action method and then you populate the number of students but for now let's uh, go to the index action method of account controller because we want to uh, uh, we want to know whether the uh, users list has got that uh, student there or not so for that let's uh, return to the index action method of account controller now we are learning one more thing here uh, if i use this constructor we are first passing the action method name and second is controller name now we will this line of code will redirect us to index action method of account controller and uh, what that uh, index action method of account controller is doing it is uh, getting list of all users and uh, it is passing that uh, user list to this view let's delete this line of code it does not uh, have any use here so this is uh, getting all uh, the users and it is populating uh, it to the uh, index view of uh, this action method if you go to the view you can see here it is uh, getting the innumerable list of users so in from students controller when the student and its default account is created we uh, directly redirect to the index section method of account controller uh, it's our requirement we can go to the index section method of uh, student controller but for now our requirement is such that we want to go to the account controllers index section method and we want to uh, display its view uh, that is uh, presenting the list of users let's uh, now quickly uh, run uh, the project and let's see whether that uh, student has been successfully saved and its uh, uh, default username and password is added or not i am running the account slash index so let's uh, see whether it's uh, working or not what's happening let me again run it control f5 if it again does not run we have to run it in debug uh, it's working so you can clearly see we have created this student uh, 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 we have created this user account by uh, uh, default method in other words we have created the student and uh, the account for that student default account is automatically added here let me go back to uh, student controllers index section method and you can see the that uh, registration number students exist here let me create a new student and let's verify uh, some new student name here and then we pass some mobile number here and registration number like i can say um, a b c 7 8 and let's create because we re redirected from the student controller to this account index now you can see that we have got the same password for all students but the username is always different because uh, every student has got unique registration number now if you 
go back to the student controllers in that section method you can see that that uh, student was also created and uh, the uh, username and password for that uh, student is also displayed here so guys that's it for this tutorial do practice the things i am doing here like do understand why we are uh, using these lines of code and what is the purpose of their order i have explained uh, line by line even i explained this line of code and every line of code by putting the breakpoints here so guys that's it for this tutorial please stay tuned and uh, keep watching my videos and give thumbs up and share my videos that's it uh, have a great day